Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my review on two new perfumes from Dior and we have here J'adore Lore, the 2023 version and Dior Riviera and this is from their private collection and both of these fragrances are from their in-house perfumer Francis Kirkjohn and then I do have some beauty items to go over as well. So before we get into the review, this video is in collaboration with Magic Links and Dior Beauty. They did give me a list of items to kind of choose from so that I can create a review for you guys. And they had both makeup and fragrance and you guys know that I am a fragrance channel so I did pick up a fragrance and I was still able to pick up some makeup so I did end up selecting the wrong set I'm gonna go over both sets one of the ones in their list was the Dior Attic natural glow set and it comes with their lip glow balm in pink as well as the maximizer in pink and then a mini maximizer and rose nude I ended up accidentally choosing the natural glow look makeup set which comes with the lip glow in pink as well i'm kind of happy i picked this set because it also comes with this adorable little makeup bag to put everything in and then it comes with their dior show mascara and the dior show maximizer 3d base serum mascara i decided to go for more of a natural look today so i'm only wearing tinted spf with some concealer with the two mascaras the lip balm and then I did pick up on my own the Dior Rosy Glow in Rosewood. And it's a really pretty blush that you can build up. So you could either just do a nice pretty flush of color or you could blend it up for a more dramatic effect. In the process, I did receive samples as well. Now, I purchased straight from Dior before and I can tell you that they always send all their stuff beautifully packaged and they always send little minis and samples like this i've purchased Gris Dior, dennis has purchased lucky and also i purchased their mini privé collection they do have a new one because i believe i have the older one where it's has just a couple that are discontinued or renamed so i'll link the most recent one below but i have purchased from them and it's definitely a luxurious Feeling. they always package everything really nicely and again they send you goodies so any kind of links or any kind of codes that will get you free goodies I will have linked down below but let's go ahead and get into the review okay first up is J'adore Lore and I do believe there's a 2017 version and then this is the new 2023 version now I was going back and forth because they did have this in their list as well as the Dior Riviera which I would have gotten the 30 mil and I kept going back and forth but I figured summer's leaving and I did feel like this was the safer bet because I figured I could test this out and give you guys a review and then I can pass this one on to my mom because she loves J'adore the original she's been using J'adore for decades now and I knew that she would enjoy this one the keynotes that are listed are orange blossom absolute jasmine grandi florum absolute and Santa folio rose absolute I saw some additional notes online of lily of the valley and violet yeah I definitely do get a dewiness that I get from Lily of the Valley. I don't know if it's Lily of the Valley or if it's Centifolia Rose because when I was looking up the description of that particular rose, they did say it was a little dewy and kind of fresh. And like when you think of the morning dew, so that can come off maybe a little Lily of the Valley, but there is something Lily of the Valley-esque in this fragrance. It's not loud like it is in Dior Lucky which I also have, but it is there. And this opens up with a burst of white florals, but in my opinion, they're not loud or heady. They're, they are kind of in your face for the first 15 minutes, but then they settle. And then to me, this becomes a warm kind of white floral, almost like they might have light touches of yellow florals in here but without having yellow florals in here. Like I don't pick up a very strong note of maybe Ylang or Frangipani, but I do get yellow floral nuances in here. Almost like this is a warm white floral fragrance, which I think is beautiful for summertime. I think this is going to be a beautiful spring summer fragrance, but seeing as how it's a floral fragrance. Those tend to be year round for me. And I think this is beautiful for 
this hot time of year here in Florida. Like, even though it's technically fall, it's still warm outside. So I think this one is beautiful for year round. I think it's super pretty and feminine. I think it's classy. I think this one's gonna be beautiful for work, especially if you enjoy florals but need something a little softer because I do find this fragrance to be light, airy, and more intimate. It's definitely more in your bubble. It's not gonna be like too loud like some white florals can be. I feel like the warmth in this scent kind of smooths out the harsh edges that you can get from some white floral fragrances like jasmine. That can be a little bit on the soapy side and then orange blossom that can be a little bit on the bitter side. This one's very blended. To me, whatever it is that's adding to the warmth to this scent is really kind of smoothing the scent out and making it kind of light, airy, and slightly tropical. So I think this one's gonna be really nice for people who enjoy floral fragrances. If you're a diehard J'adore fan, I think it can go either way because I don't know what the other flankers smell like. The only one I really smell is the original when she wears it, and it is a departure from that fragrance, but still a lovely light white floral. And again, that is J'adore Lore. All right, the next we have Dior Riviera. I am kicking myself for not picking up this one, but I am gonna be putting this on my, my wish list for summer. So I'm just gonna touch up here. I did use up the two mil that I got with purchase. Oh my goodness. This one is so good. So Dior Riviera is described as green, fruity, sweet, and woody and rose this has notes of fig green notes and rose i don't really get a rosiness this isn't like a floral fragrance in my opinion this is a very beachy summery kind of fragrance i don't want to say it's super sun tanny but there is kind of that sun tanny vibe but this one smells more luxurious and the fig in here it just gives me this creamy coconutty effect now fig does give me kind of this coconutty accord but it's so creamy in here now i didn't pick this one up because i thought it was going to have harsh green notes but the green notes are very much in the background and kind of make this one small again luxurious and the fig is really adding this kind of creamy coconut effect to it that i find very unique like think of those luxurious kind of sun tanny fragrances but with an added fig note and some green nuances now this does lean unisex slightly feminine on my skin okay performance so j'adore lore i would say has moderate performance it's definitely more of an intimate scent when you spray it you do get a blast of white florals that kind of projects for the first 30 minutes and then this does sit closer to your area this is a scent that someone has to walk close by you to smell or get in for a hug to kind of smell you so i think this scent will be beautiful for work i don't think this one's too overpowering i mean you could definitely overspray this one but this is one that i found to be more intimate it did have great longevity. It's one that I smelled on my skin the next day. But I would say that it sits very much close to the skin after that four hour mark. Now I do tend to spray my clothes and my hair more anyways. So if you want it to last a little longer, that's the route I would say. Now, that was testing out this large bottle. When I tested out this little two mil of Dior Rivera, this was one that I could smell around me for hours later. It's one that sits in your area, leaves a beautiful sillage. I was able to get two small tests out of it and then a one day wear out of this and I smelled it the next day. I don't usually review little two mil bottles, but testing this out, I can say that I did smell this the next day. So I want to decant this and follow this scent up because it ended up being the one that I like the most out of the two. I know my mom's gonna be happy when I give her this one, but this this one's definitely going on my wish list and i will be picking up a 30 ml bottle of this for summer next year and again that is dior riviera so that is my very quick review on the new j'adore lore and the new dior riviera let me know in the comments below have you guys picked up any of these fragrances or what are your thoughts on them but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys